Hey everyone, Anthony Venuta here with InTouch Mortgage Solutions. It's Friday Finance Fridays, and thank you again for tuning in. We're gonna do a little year-end recap of 2022 and talk about some critical dates in 2023. You don't wanna miss it, stay tuned. As another year draws to a close and we look forward to a new year and a fresh start in 2023, I wanted to take this opportunity to look back at the last 12 months and see what lessons and what changes have happened and more importantly, what critical dates we should be paying attention to in the coming year. Now, before I get into all that, I really wanted to take a moment to just thank all our supporters and viewers of the channel and everyone that supported Finance Fridays and their journey to get to where we are today. We wanna to take that opportunity to thank everyone that leaves a comment, hits the like button and shares our videos. And more importantly, to all our subscribers. As our goal at InTouch Mortgage Solutions with our Finance Fridays episodes, is to create relevant and informative content that is educational and that we can help clients on their financial literacy journey to better understand the options and solutions available to them. And by providing these options and solutions, we hope to keep more money in their pockets. And if that's something that interests you, don't be hesitant. You can hit the subscribe button and that notification bell. It doesn't cost you anything. And we can go on this journey together. Now, I wanna take this opportunity just to reflect back quickly on 2022. And as we look back at what has happened over the last 12 months, we've definitely seen some significant changes. And 2022 will definitely be a year to record in the record books. Now, for many Canadians who entered the market over the past few years for the first time, they may have not experienced this economic downturn, and it can be definitely alarming to say the least. Now, obviously with interest rates being elevated and home prices continuing to plummet, when will the bottom hit? That is a question that we can't answer. We don't have a crystal ball. But as long as the Bank of Canada continues to increase its policy rate, we can definitely anticipate further pressure in the housing market. Now, it's important to understand that the Bank of Canada's mandate is to keep inflation at 2%, and that is their sole purpose, and they've made that very clear. But over the last few weeks, we've heard from the governor, as well as the Bank of Canada, with the change in sentiment of how they will approach future rate hikes, and that is data dependency. They're going to be looking at how inflation pans out and if their monetary tightening is actually having its desired impact. Now, we don't know what's gonna happen in 2023, but obviously understanding that variable rate mortgages, whether they be adjustable or on a trigger rate, are definitely the most impacted at the current moment. And better understanding where fixed rates will be headed in the future can hopefully alleviate some pressure for Canadians who have not yet locked in. And if you're looking to get better information about that, it's important to speak to your mortgage professional about your particular scenario, as each case is independent and the decision that you make can depend on many different factors. So now we wanna look at some of the critical dates that are happening in 2023. Now the first critical date that's gonna happen is on January 1st, and that's when the foreign buyer's ban will take into effect. And without getting into too much detail about that actual policy, I think there's a lot of loopholes and a lot of exceptions that are granted. And I don't think that foreign buyers made up a huge percentage of what caused home prices to escalate so quickly over the past few years. But I do think it's a step in the right direction and the government and legislation should be doing more to ensure that we keep homes for Canadians that are living in this country. Now, obviously, I think there's another critical date that's gonna happen and that's gonna be on February 2nd. And if you're a resident of Toronto, it's important to understand that you have to fill your vacancy tax declaration or your vacancy declaration in order to avoid paying the vacancy tax. Now, obviously those are some critical dates, but for those Canadians who are trying to better understand what to do with their variable rate mortgage, we have two critical dates that we need to pay attention to. First is January 17th. On the 17th of January, we're gonna get the data release for our consumer pricing index or the CPI numbers. And as of November, we were at 6.8%, and we're hoping to see headline inflation drop for the month of December. And those numbers will definitely determine where the Bank of Canada will be headed next but it's important not to just look at headline inflation, but at the actual core matrix within those numbers, which is obviously energy, fuel, housing, and food, as those numbers continue to be relatively sticky. Now, following the 17th of January will be the Bank of Canada meeting on the 25th. That will be the first time the Bank of Canada will meet for the new year, and they will discuss where they're headed with policy rate, and only time will tell where they're gonna be headed. But I wanna hear from you, our viewers, where do you think the Bank of Canada will be in January and follow, following months as we embark on 2023. Let us know in the comments section below. Now I wanna leave the video here and I really wanna just thank everyone for their support over the last 12 months once again and wishing everybody a happy new year and we'll see everybody in the new year. Thanks again for watching and thanks for clicking.